approached yesterday by a non-speaking or non-English MS gentleman came up and put a three-day notice on my door. I've been a resident there for six years. Bye. We'll see you guys in a little while. Yeah, enjoy your stroll. There's a big man right there. All right, guys, we're going to get right into it. I'm just outside hanging out with the turkeys, you know, being outside in the, in the fresh air. I got, I'm grounding. But today we're going to talk about Springfield, Ohio again. I've been talking with my preacher friend. I brought you that video a couple weeks ago. It was very well received. A lot of inside information on what's going in there. I've been doing a little bit more homework for you guys, and I just want you to know some of the stuff that I found. One, the governor of... Ohio has a strong connection to Haiti. Him and his wife have been going there for over 20 years. Now, if you guys do a little more investigations, you'll see that Bill Gates loves Haiti, the Clintons love Haiti, and I'm not saying nothing about the white and how they love Haiti, but all I'm saying is that when you have connections with Haiti for over two decades, and all of a sudden in the middle of the Midwest and USA America, we have a Haitian immigrant pro <laughs> we have a Haitian immigrant problem right and they're showing up with all kinds of benefits and cash and money to help stabilize them in the new world i find that very suspect but in this video what we're going to talk about is how there are now buying property and evicting american citizens today a video broke of a haitian cutting up what appears to be a dog in a backyard at red coach village there are other videos all over the internet that shows haitians torturing and consuming cats and dogs. You can deny it's happening, but the facts prove you wrong. Most Haitians are born at home with no doctor in attendance to certify the birth. There is no functional government agency in Haiti that is handing out official birth certificates. Haitians are creating false identities through the CBP-1 app. CBP-1 app. Have you guys heard about that? Here's Josh Holly, a representative in Missouri, explaining how the CBP-1 app works. This year, you rolled out a new phone app called CBP-1, an app for a cell phone. I've got a picture of it behind me here. This phone app allows, and I'm gonna quote from your own fact sheet, it allows, and I quote, non-citizens without appropriate documents for admission to schedule an appointment to come to the border. Nowhere on the app do you actually require the illegal migrants to apply for asylum or to claim asylum or anything about asylum. And in fact, when they then get to the border, you don't ask them questions, you don't do interviews, you just release them. Here's the Texas Monthly, not a notable conservative outlet, who reports, and I quote, at no point does the app ask users, are you seeking asylum? Those arriving for the CBP-1 appointments are given no interviews, asked no questions about vulnerabilities that they may or may not have listed in the app or about why they're coming to the United States. They're simply released into the country, end quote. You don't know who they are or what their background is, yet you protect them instead of the citizens who pay your salaries. This issue is not going away anytime soon and it will only grow larger the longer it takes for you to start protecting the American citizens of this city. The Haitians in Springfield are not migrants. They're paid mercenaries, occupiers, and soldiers of a foreign army supported by American tax dollars. You said there were 20,000 here. Now you're backtracking on the number. Were you lying then or are you lying now? It's national news that FEMA spent all of its funding on migrants and there is nothing left for hard-hit Americans of hurricanes and flooding disasters who are currently in desperate need of those funds. People are angry that you and others like you put foreign invaders first and Americans last. Thank you. And I just want to note as well, you heard him talking about it right here, but anybody who doesn't go along with the program, who doesn't just free willy-nilly accept illegal immigrants to come into their town and buy up their land, buy all their stores, buy brand new cars in their face with their tax dollars, mind you, right? That you're a racist or some kind of a bigot. Okay, so I want you to understand the enemy is going to use our system totally against us 100%. You guys, if you follow this stuff, Seriously, if you follow this stuff, the federal government is fighting voter registration stuff, okay? 
like common sense, good voter registration stuff. They are literally taking states to the courts and fighting that stuff. This is, I mean, you cannot make this stuff up. All right, let's get back to the video. What you guys are gonna hear, you're gonna hear from the resident who had her house bought out from underneath her. She'd been living there six years, being a good tenant, and she got a notice on the door three days to get out. Approached yesterday by a non-speaking, or non-English speaking member of the community now, one of our new residents, um, that apparently purchased my home. Uh, I was not aware. No one told me until yesterday morning. And this gentleman came up and put a three-day notice on my door. I've been a resident there for six years. He did not speak English. But he came up and told me, I have three days. Three days. To move out of my home. I'm getting pushed out of my home. By someone that can't speak my language and doesn't know the law and doesn't know the rules of what an eviction is or what communication is because he can't tell me. It's not his fault. But I want to know where the resources are for us because I don't get rental assistance. My $15 an hour, I make too much. I took a pay cut because my employer had to outsource the company I work for overseas. I had to take a pay cut of a fourth of, of what I made. And now on top of that, I'm being asked to leave my home by someone that can't communicate this to me. We're getting pushed out of this community. I was born here. I, I want to be compassionate here. Your time is up. I want to be compassionate here. Your time is up. Now, the one thing no one's really talking about is once all these, you know, in this particular case, Springfield, Ohio, there's over 25,000 of these Haitians there, okay? Now, I'm going to give you guys a little insider stuff that I've heard from people on the ground there. They can't use their hospital anymore because the Haitians, they have AIDS a lot, and they're having babies in the hospitals, and so they have to cordon off parts of the hospitals because of it. So, you basically cannot even use the hospital. They're trying to figure that stuff out right now. Okay. Now, I did say they were having babies. Take 25,000 Haitians and start racking up three, four, five, or ten babies for the couples. Okay. Do you understand what's going to happen in five and ten more years to this whole country? <laughs> because we're allowing this to happen right underneath our nose. They're going to get them in here and they're going to have these babies. And then in a few short years, it'll go by fast, trust me, they will vote every single way that goes against your values and the way that you know America. That's how they're going to do it. Everyone keeps talking about their, the voter rolls for now. You guys have to understand, the folks that we're up against are playing the long game. Okay? So what they're doing right now, don't let them get me. So what they're doing right now, though, is they're setting up for in the future, okay? They're going to steamroll us. They're showing us right now. They're steamrolling us. The citizen has no rights. The foreigner has all the rights. The foreigner gets all the aid and help. The citizen gets $750. And y'all, they are declining people like crazy in North Carolina. I get reports all the time, emails. They are declining, 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 okay? So stay vigilant out there. The most capable hand is at the end of your wrist. And no one's going to save you. I'm just here to tell you. You're on your own. Share this video with your friends because a lot of people don't know what's happening. And we'll see you on the next video. And real quick before you get out of here, we have a live show every Monday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time right here on YouTube. So we'll see you guys tonight.